Now you can prop it up in the regular prop hole here, but there's another one over here. And if you'll use this one, it gets the hood up almost vertical and gets it out of your way. Next, we're gonna remove this shield here. There are 10 plastic clips holding it in place. Just lift straight up and it should all pop out. Now let's check and make sure all the clips are in place. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All are in place. We're gonna move this out of the way. The tools you're gonna to need are a Phillips screwdriver, an open end wrench, and if you have it, a socket wrench is handy for moving the battery terminals, but you've got to have an open end wrench to get the battery clamp out of place. So we've got two screws to remember here on the air intake, and be careful you don't drop them. These are little plastic screws, so be gentle with them. We just lift up the intake and disconnect it from the rubber connector back here. Okay, with the intake removed, we finally get a good look at the battery. Uh, one thing I added to my truck, and you may consider adding to yours, I added a short battery ground cable. From where the negative terminal grounds to the chassis, I added this cable that runs along here, and here's the other end of it right here. And the reason I did that, if I ever have to jump start this truck, I won't have to remove the cover and the intake manifold to get to the negative terminal. I can connect my jumper cables here and here because you do have good access to the positive terminal when the intake is in place. So I can connect to these few points and jump start my truck. Uh, this is especially important if you're using a small uh, battery jump pack. They want to be connected as directly to the battery as possible, not grounded to the chassis. And so uh, I have a way to, to jump start the truck or help somebody else out without having to remove the intake manifold. Okay, we need to remove this bolt and there's another bolt here underneath this wire loom connector. So we need to get that off of this threaded rod here. These things are hard to get off. Putting a, a wrench down here and pushing upward really helps. There we go, we got that out of the way. Now we just need to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts now, if you have a really long deep well socket, you may be able to do it that way, but I find a wrench works just fine. And you don't need to remove the bolts completely. There's little hooks on the ends of these two rods that you can disconnect and then lift it out. Just push down and turn. release the hooks and then you can move this out of the way okay now we can disconnect the battery terminals take off your ground first and then your positive And now you can lift the cover off your battery. It's a little bit of a tight fit to get out of here. Here we go. So here's the battery that came out of my truck. Uh, the ridge lines are real sensitive to a weak battery if you start noticing some weird things going on with your dashboard lights or any sort of weird behavior by any electronic portion of the truck, it's a good indicator you may need a battery. 
Uh, this battery is four years old, and so it's done. And I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's bulging out on the sides. So uh, it's definitely in need of a replacement. And there you can see that it's a Group 48. The stock one is a 620 amp. Most of the Group 48s I'm seeing are 700 amp plus. So uh, this is kind of a minimal battery. Uh, Honda definitely saved a few bucks here. Okay, I got the battery compartment all cleaned out. Time to put in the new battery. The next step is to reinstall the cover, and it's a snug fit. Make sure you got a good tight seal. There's a fan here that keeps the battery cool, and there's gaskets all around this cover that keep the hot engine air from getting to the battery. So be sure you've got that installed properly. Now we'll reinstall our clamp, and you'll notice there's a little arrow here that goes towards the front of the vehicle so you don't accidentally put it in there wrong. And fishing these little hooks back into the holes can take a minute, so give yourself some time. All right, so our cover's pointing forward. The arrow on our clamp is pointing forward. Go ahead and tighten up these bolts. I tried deep well sockets on these, but my sockets aren't deep enough to go over these long studs. If you have deep well sockets that'll fit these long studs, that's even easier than using a wrench. Like I say, you just want to snug it up. Just make sure the battery's not going to go anywhere. Don't crush this or break the bracket or anything like that. That's not tight enough. The reason you do the positive first when reconnecting is if the wrench touches a piece of metal while I'm tightening this, the truck is not attached to negative yet, so there won't be any sparks. And again, don't break it. Just snug is good enough. Next thing we're going to re do is reinstall that wire loom, and now we're going to put our intake back into place. So we've pushed the rubber boot back into place, and here's the two little retaining clips that go in here. It's easiest to pop them out, because then you can see that everything is lined up like it ought to be. When you get all lined up just right, then you just push these back in. And like that, and now we can put our screws back. And just finger tight. These don't have to be very tight at all. They're not going anywhere. The last step is to reinstall our cover. First thing you're going to do is get the leading edge underneath the hood latch. And make sure you got it in about the right position and just start at one end and line up your first clip. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten clips. We're all done. One last tip I want to leave you with. The receipt will go in the glove box. Since you can't see this battery without taking everything apart, I also took a picture of it. And so this will go inside the glove box and I printed a label here and stuck on top of the battery case so uh, you'll know what's in there without having to take everything apart. I hope you find this helpful. Please like and subscribe if you did. Thanks.